a lot of mystery writer and movie producer think my career shows one thing: make impossible possible. I start my career as a police captain in Taiwan, long time ago, 1960s. Not because I want to become a policeman, because my family is so poor. When I was in high school, I want to become a basketball star. <laughs> I really work hard on it, but I only five eight. I try so hard. Did not make it. <laughs> I don't know why until Yao Ming invited me for dinner. <laughs> I look at him. I look at myself. I realize each of us have a limitation. <laughs> Physically, mentally, we all have a limitation. So be yourself. Challenge yourself, not other people. Then you will be happy all your life. So I decided to come to United States in 1965 to study songs because early days we solve case pretty easy. We don't need DNA, we don't need fingerprint, just round up a usual suspect <laughs> and tear one confess. <laughs> Nobody confess. We take them to the back room. Five minutes later, everybody confess. <laughs> So our clearance rate is 150 <laughs> percent. We actually solve more cases than actual cases. <laughs> A lot of innocent people was forced into confession. I decide to come to U.S. to study. That time, I don't even speak English. Only have fifty dollars in my pocket. Fifty some years later, I still don't speak English. <laughs> But I sure have a lot of money in my pocket. <laughs> This is probably the best country. If you want to prove yourself, you have a chance. So I studied at NYU Medical Center. Then I got my doctor degree in 1979. I start work at Connecticut State Police as their laboratory director. Wow. <laughs> So a lot of people think I'm making possible possible. I spend so many hours, thousands, thousands of hours at the crime scene, day and night, holidays. Those police officer detective, they all work extremely hard. People have vacations; they have to work. After the crime scene, most of the detective went home. I have to. Start work in the laboratory. When we finish, then I have to testify in court. So all my career basically visit four places: crime scene, lab, courtroom, and classroom. So many years until 1998, I decide to retire. After 25 service for state police, but the governor. Want me to be the commissioner for state police? I said no way. I don't want it. <laughs> former former governor asked me. I tell him no way. Last governor asked me. I said walk on my dead body. <laughs> <laughs> I like to do the field work. I don't want to meetings after meetings. And、uh, this governor pretty smart. Went to see my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you know. When I was seven years old, I lost my father. My mother single-handed raised thirteen kids, and、uh, that's why people. Thank you, thank you. That's why people ask me who I respect the most as a mother, who I scare the most, my mother. <laughs> <laughs> so people, you mind me to give a talk? I said too busy. I don't want to. They call my mother. People call me on the case. I say no. I retire. I don't want to look at another case. They call my mother. <laughs> so governor went to see my mother. My mother said, "Why don't you mean? What do you mean you don't want to be a commissioner?" I said, "Mom, that's not the job. Thirty-seven meeting a day. You have to learn hug the lady, kissing the baby. <laughs> She moves the politician. Hug the lady. It's okay. Kiss." 
except my wife don't like that. <laughs> Kiss the baby, you know, a lot of have chocolate milk all over the place. You'll have to pretend you like them. <laughs> so my mother said, look, you'll have to learn. Whatever you do, that's what you want. It's what you can contribute to the society, to con contribute to the country. So my mother talked me into I've become the first Asian ever become a state police commissioner. Thank you.